Well, after a long, hot day here at the 1.8 Euros, let's hear from the top three drivers after the first day of qualifying. Well, Yannick Algon's great form continues, the top current man setting the pace during much of time practice, but like every other driver, this is very much about testing and adjusting. Uh, I have to work a lot on the shocks because we all tune the car in the pit, which is quite fresh. And, and coming to the, the track, uh, like everything is way too soft, like tires, diff, shocks. So we, have, we had to tune it, but, but like mainly shock and tires. And with two more rounds of qualifying to come, the Frenchman has a clear plan. Tomorrow I will try to TQ and, and possible test as much as possible and, and get ready for, for the mains. The two top men are from the same family, but different race teams. And Jerome knows competition will be tough at the front. Right, uh, I've seen all the Kirsch driver. It's uh, David Ronofalk. It is uh, very fast in the last round. Uh, maybe second time, I think. Uh, for me, it's uh, the first round. It's not so bad in five, fifth, I think. Uh, Tiku in the second round. Uh, in the last round, uh, one big mistake. And, uh, well, for me, it's the first day in qualification. It's uh, objective is semi directly, and, uh, not the TQ. But if tomorrow I I can't uh, I can't have the TQ, it's well. The shrugs indicate a more relaxed approach to TQing. But the current third place man is former European champion Miguel Matias. He's on home turf, but he does have one minor issue. Yes, I lost my voice. <laughs> The car continues to be perfect. I'm just testing a few details. Uh, I'm working in the, with my engine and my tires uh, to try and get the, the best feeling for, for, the, for the finals. That's for me where the, the race begins. I think TQ is almost taken and uh, it was never my goal. So I just want to, to do as much practice and testing as I can. Well, keep checking Afro.ws throughout the weekend for all the latest on the 1-8th Nitro Rallycross Euros.